I'm out here by myself, solo day today. I've just got a, a couple of hours where the wind's gonna be pretty good. If you can see out here, it's a little bit lumpy. Bit stormy as well. There's been a, a little bit of rain. You can see on the land there, it's raining a little bit. But you know what? This is my happy place. I'd love to be out here. Well, the plan is, I've got my uh, whiting gear here. And see my little pad and Oscar. Floating around. I'm gonna, um, I've got this spot which I can count on most times. Like it's a rising tide now, so it's a good time to come and uh, get some sand whiting. They normally feed on a rising tide. These sort of sand flats are a bit patchy with weed. And often on that rising tide, they'll come up here onto that shallow ground and um, get pretty ferocious. So with any luck, I can find them. I mean, it's a big area out here, but um, when you find them, it's um, it's all on. So let's see what happens. I'm also fishing a squid jig out the back. It's just going to float around. Look, I'm not really going for squid today, but you know, you never really know. And sometimes there's some pretty big squid out here. But if the whiting are here, the squid are going to be close by. So as I was saying, um, I've got some squid tentacles. Caught these the other day. I just chopped them up into bits about a centimetre long. Get um, half a dozen of those. Put them over near my, my gear over here. Just so they're ready to go if it's uh, all on. Alright, well, here goes. I like to put that bait on just so it's um, just got a bit of the hook through and it sort of floats around a bit like a worm on the bottom. Here we go. Okay, well they're getting a little bit bigger. And secrets I use with these, you might have noticed the rigs um, this is a pre-made rig I bought from BCF, about four bucks or something. And but when I'm in a bit of a rush, I couldn't be bothered making them. So and these are pretty good. Don't get tangled. Actually, that's that's what I do find that some of the pre-made ones um, twist up and get tangled and not very good. But these um, these ones, I forget the brand, but that oh, that's a good fish. Um, these particular ones, yeah, they seem to hold their shape really well. No, don't get tangled. Actually, this could be a big one. Whoa! Like two. Yep. Oh, two nice size ones. Very good. This top one's alright. Quick release. Two, or a nice big one. Oh yeah, good size one. He's a good size one. You might notice the shirt. It's the um, one of the first fever fishing shirts. Man, this is mint shirt. Hot, cold. Slime, no slime. Man, never fades. SPF 50. So I'm hoping to um, hoping to get these made so they're available for people to buy. I'm trying to keep them under 50 bucks if I can. 
So if you see them uh, out there, give them a go. Coming up to winter, hopefully the new spray jackets will be out too and they'll be mint. Just got to get the um, pocket amended so it's big enough for people to put their iPhones in. Oh, yep. And this is good fishing. Good fishing. Yes. You know, you've got plenty of fish of one piece of bait. That's why I use squid. Not only because I catch it and that's what they're uh, eating anyway, because the same water is where I get my squid. Oops. I'll just I'll back this off a bit. I'll show you what I'm doing at the back of the boat here. This is a scaling bag. A scaling bag. Um, you can see it's got a, a float on the back of it. I've put the whiting in there. That's going to bounce around at the back of the boat. I do that for about 10 minutes. Um, that'll take all the scales off the whiting. And when I get home to fillet them, um, they're in beautiful condition. So yeah, really good idea uh, if you don't like scaling fish, which is the worst part, to be honest. Scaling bag, worth every penny. I think um, that one's a Wilson one. Um, maybe it costs 60 bucks, which is more than what I've been spending on scaling bags before. But um, a lot of my other scaling bags, there's some in the in the gunnel there. Um, they break, the stitching's crap. I've actually had one or two where they've broken and uh, sunk to the bottom behind the back of the boat. So, <laughs> which is a pretty bad result especially when they're full of fish or squid. So um, yeah, this one's much better quality. We've got some whiting now, so they're all cleaned up. Sun's just starting to come through. You can see it over there. Hopefully that lightens up and uh, clears up the water a little bit. While I'm out here, I'm about four miles offshore, uh, out towards uh, Karnak Island. I'm, I'm going to a place I know where I find a lot of herring. The, um, the herring like sort of weedy, shallow locations, maybe because it's warm water. Not really sure why they like it, but I tend to find them here all the time. Even when they're said to not be around, they're in this spot. So I like to catch them on uh, little silver lures the best. The most effective way is probably with burly and bait, but um, it's a bit messy, you got to sort of anchor up, and I'm not really up for that. I just want to. I only want to catch uh, a dozen. I mainly use them for bait. Um, really good baits for deep dropping and um, pretty hardy. So you can butterfly them and, and put them down deep and they hold their shape pretty good. They're a sort of oily enough fish too that um, the deep fish like to eat them. So see how we go. We're, we're looking at about two to three meters in water depth coming up. This is also really great fun for the kids. Uh, throwing lures all day, not getting dirty. Um, the excitement of seeing fish chase up the lures and actually bind them is really good fun. Here are a selection of um, little herring jigs. They're not, not very big as you can see, but they sort of mimic the bait fish that we're after. So I'll put them on and we'll see how we go. I literally had one cast and uh, oh, got hit straight away. So I belt it out as far as I can. Again, using really light line. I'm not winding it in too fast, but just a nice moderate pace to start so this just stays under the oh, hit hit uh-huh uh-huh Sometimes we get some pretty big pike out here as well. This is a bit of a surprise, like when the bait fish are around. Oops, gone right at the boat. Thanks, straight on. Almost landed on that one's head. I'll wind in a bit slower this time and hopefully you'll stay on. Ah! 
<laughs> they fight so well for little fish. Actually, he was not getting off that one. Very well hooked. Very hungry. Perfect release again. Oh, on. And it's a better strike rate. These are actually hitting over the sand, just a little bit patchy. 